All right, so last week we talked about the uh, development, the Nichols Apartments off of, or the Nichols apart, the Apartments off of Nichols. Right. And it looked like there was uh, some delinquency. We said there was on payment, and I reached back out to Jeff following our break of the story. Of course, you saw Expo came out with a story the next day as well, and yeah. I just asked him if there were updates. Jeff and- Tegatoff, the... Developer, yeah, Mr. Tagatoff, the developer, and he said exactly very forward, very transparent that he wired funds to the dispersing company on Friday, March eighth. Checks were picked up Monday, March eleventh. Uh, cleared out, and another wire was sent to dispersing company on March fifteenth. Now, I mean, he gave great details and was yeah. very transparent. He's meeting with Thomas Construction this week. He tells us to work through these scheduled updates and the remobilization of the project. Now, I asked the question following our last week's story if maybe the cash he's had to put forward to acquire the timeshare weeks right. could contribute to him being delinquent on the construction of the projects of the Nichols Apartments. And he said, I have no comment on the timeshares right now besides there is communication with the board attorney, which is positive, mm. and the two projects are non-related. So he wasn't really willing to say, yes, that's what happened. But I, I did hear from a few people, and I had that thought, you had that thought. Yeah. Did the money to acquire all these weeks of these timeshares uh, lead to the delinquency and payment to the contractors. So uh, he did say, I would expect to have an update for you on the timeshares after their March 28th annual meeting, and there's nothing to report until then. So I'll continue to be diligent, reach out hopefully to uh, the city of Osage Beach, see if they know of a resolution, yeah. and continue to, to reach out to the contractors. You know, I'm so impressed, though, with Jeff Tegatoff, where he's not running from this. He didn't ghost you when you said, sure. hey, what's going on with this? He got right back to you and explained it. Uh, uh, I'm I'm really impressed with that guy. You know, I mean, uh, and maybe he's just playing me. Maybe he's a great businessman, you know, and all that stuff. But he seems to be on the up and up. And and he always gets back to you with an answer of what's going on. And he didn't say... That's either, that's either one of two things. Either he's on the up and up or he knows the power of our platform and he knows that we're covering it. And we're he's talking playing to us, it. And right. he absolutely doesn't want to leave us hanging. Uh, I will think he's more on the up and up as soon as I know there's a solution. The construction companies, the subcontractors have been paid, and our local families are back to work with yeah. money in their checking account. Then I'll be like, all right, you made it right. Let's not have any more hiccups.